trombone shorty. Good evening. Hey, how you doing? Or do you want me to call you Troy? It doesn't matter. No, you like. Troy is shorter. Yeah. So it was very funny. Um, uh, you <laughs> sat down, you put on the headphones, and you said, hey, somebody's covering my song. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was the New Orleans band outside of Soul Rebels. I couldn't hear, but it sounds all right to me. But it was you, and you gave a great show last night. I mean, I've all the guys, people on Twitter, on the internet, everybody just is raving about it. Oh, thank you. We just try to do what we do. It was, uh, the energy from the audience pushed us higher, and we just wanted to give it back. One moment, we were, I was actually, I was working, so I was sort of seeing, watching the concert with, uh, with one eye on the screen, and then all of a sudden I saw you laying down on the floor with your trumpet in your hand. I thought, oh no, he fell from stage. What happened? <laughs> that looked really scary. No, I had a, uh, that was a part of the show where I held a note for about five minutes or so, and I just needed to catch my breath, and uh, I lost a little, uh, a little energy for a second, so I had to take a quick, quick break. But you, uh, you played one note for five minutes, so you, you do circular breathing. You breathe in through your nose and then out through your mouth. And yeah, yeah. I don't know how long it was last night, but I never time it, but it, feel, it felt like five minutes. My lips were sore after that, but it, uh, it was fun. I tried to learn circular breathing when I was trying to play the didgeridoo. I never succeeded. How long did it take you to, to, to learn this? Uh, 20 minutes. No. Yeah. I was Troy. Don't exaggerate now. Don't brag about yourself. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> my, my cousin from the Dirty Dozen band, he uh, taught me how to do it in like 20 minutes. And it took me to 20 minutes to get the concept. And then maybe about uh, two, three days later, I held a note for uh, 23 minutes. Wow. But I've never attempted that again. No. Nope. I'm, I'm getting older now. After that, you were in a coma. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, you uh, grew up in uh, New Orleans. You've been playing trombone since you were very small, short, hence yeah. your uh, your name, trombone yep. uh, uh, shorty. Um, and I heard from my colleague Winfried that you are still playing with your uh, high school friends in your band. Is that true? Yeah, we uh, we grew up, actually the percussionists, we grew up on the same street in New Orleans in the Treme neighborhood. We used to play on cardboard boxes together and play around. So we've been playing literally together for over 20 years, our entire life together. And some of my, uh, the rest of the band, we went to the New Orleans Center for Creative Arts, and we've been playing together since then. Wow, how cool is that? It's fun, you know. You never argue? Yeah, we fight. About we, what? Uh, everything. But it's cool now, you know. We'll give it 10 more years and see if we still like each other. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I heard you went to Prince last night after your own gig. Yeah. Did went, you like it? Yeah, I went to go steal some things from him. Just had my, uh... Steal a bunch of ideas and steal some moves from him. It was uh, it was great. He's a great musician. Uh, he's a genius. Plays all type of instruments, and I'm really inspired by that. What do you want to steal? I like some of those hand moves he do. Uh, you know, when he brings it down in a slow song, it's real, real sexy. You know, he uh, he knows how to work the audience, and it's just a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna catch one more show, and then you'll see some prints in my show. <laughs> Cause you last night you did the moonwalk, yeah, Michael the Michael Jackson. Jackson moonwalk. But and but what, is there anything musically you want to steal from Prince? Oh uh, yeah, I mean, he's just music. Period. Is uh, I like the the slow songs that he play, and uh, of course I don't play the guitar, and at least not that well. But uh, I like his funk combined with the rock and the driving thing. It's just so much that I. Got to recalculate in my head what's going to stick out to me. But, you know, his falsetto, when he sings high, mm -hmm. I'm already still in that part of it. But it's just a bunch of stuff. Like He's like a, a, a dictionary, anything, like a, 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 a treasure box. You just go in there and pick what you need yeah. and, and hopefully use it and turn it into what, what you want it to be. And then some other youngster will see me and take it and make it their own. It's just about passing it along and stealing it from the best. I, I heard... Um, that you were going to play today with um, Dr. John, is that true? Yeah, I just played with him. You just played with him, how yeah. was it? It's good, you know, Dr. John is like an uncle to me. I've been playing with him for a long time and it's just great to be all the way over here in the North Sea playing with him. Are you going to do anything else today? Uh, I'm not sure, I'm looking on the schedule to see who I can go jam with. Nice. Other than that, I might just hang out and enjoy the rest of the day and just be a regular festival goer. Did you ever see, uh, hear about the Dutch band Schadi Nova? I heard of them. Yeah? Yeah. You're going to see, watch them? Yeah. Yeah, they're going to play with Kiteman. He's a great trumpet player, too. I'm going to, I'm going to check something out from them and steal some more stuff. <laughs>
<laughs> well, they sound like this. Thank you very much, Trombone Shorty. Thank Have you for having me. Great day.